legendary recording artist and music producer Q-Tip of A Tribe Called Quest fame, joining me on the Fort Knox podcast this week. It posts tomorrow. I asked him about the major streaming platforms and their complicated relationships with artists. Tip himself has a show, Abstract Radio, on, a on Apple Music. His friend Questlove from The Roots has one on Pandora. Jay-Z owns Tidal. The platforms want to get bigger, but will they eat the whole industry? Really, it's about market share. It's about consumption. It's about having the most mm -hmm. to be the biggest because, you know, when you when you're a conglomerate in that way, you know, you kind of become like, I don't know if you're into, uh, into comics, but I am. Mm -hmm. But you become Galactus. Yeah. And Galactus was the one who would Just swallow worlds. Eating worlds. That's all he did was swallow worlds. Can somebody be Silver Surfer? And see, Silver <laughs> Surfer, that's, that's where you, and that's where I believe Jay-Z is Silver Surfer. And, Questlove is Silver Surfer, and I could be Silver Surfer. Mm. You know, you have to, instead of uh, airing complaints and stuff like that, you have to, you have to kind of see it from both sides. Mm. You have to put yourself in your shoes, right? So I understand that in order for Galactus to survive, his practical need is to eat worlds. <laughs> in order for, for Norman Rad or Silver Surfer, to save his world, he says, look, I love my dear world of peace so much. I have these, I'll do, I'll go out and get other ones, but leave this one alone. Mm. So I understand Norman Rad's position. And you're dealing with something that's just kind of a one dimensional you have to consume, because if they don't have market share, then they fall. On the first anniversary of Amazon Whole Foods, Q-Tip knows what's up, eating worlds indeed. You'll be able to listen and watch the full hour-long interview tomorrow on the Fort Knox podcast and the Fort Knox YouTube channel. We talk native tongues, pain and grieving. He lost Fife, of course. Elton John, Prince, and a lot more, guys. What about Elton John? He collaborated with Elton John on Tribe's last album, That Solid Wall of Sound. It wasn't just a sample. He actually went to London and collaborated with Elton John on that. He's a big fan. Just when I thought the Fort Knox podcast couldn't get any better, I'd also just note that he's getting ready to teach a course at my alma mater, NYU, this That's fall. Right. So the really intersection of stuff. jazz and hip hop, indeed. Yeah. I love listening to musicians talk business. It's so fascinating. <laughs> hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.